Maybe the most iconic moment in sports history is Jesse Owens, a black man winning gold medals for the United States in 1936 in what was then Nazi Germany. And many people don't remember or don't know that he has a place in North Alabama history. A symbolic tree honoring Jesse Owens was planted in Danville today. Yeah, it happened at the Jesse Owens Museum and members of his family were there. News 19's Deidre Briscoe went to Danville to learn more about the English oak that represents Owens' legacy. Jesse Owens was an American track and field athlete who won four gold medals during the 1936 Berlin Olympics. Much of his memorabilia lives here in Oakville. Now so does an oak sapling that is a descendant from his award winning tree. James Cleveland Owens, also known as Jesse Owens, was born September 12, 1913 in Oakville, Alabama. He moved to Ohio, where he would later become known as a four time Olympic champion during a time where there was much to conquer. One of Jesse Owens' favorite sayings was, you can't eat a gold medal. And sadly, because of racism, Jesse Owens had to do things in the 1940s and even in the 1950s that would kind of be thought of unspeakable today for a four-time Olympic gold medal winner. His perseverance in that is what made him a symbol uh, for all Americans. While Owens was a symbol for many, his granddaughters only saw him as grandpa. My grandparents were, you know, in, the, in case of an emergency, because they were right there and so my granddad came to pick me up and when he got there when he came to school they were like oh my god it's Jesse Owens and he came and picked me up from school and took me home and just could not believe that he had to pick me up because I got stuck in the mud. The tree planted Thursday was grown from the acorns of a tree that Owens was presented by the Olympics that he later planted at Rose High School. That tree later died, but an arborist had already been collecting acorns from the tree in an attempt to replicate it. He says for him, Jesse Owens is a torchbearer. Some people are torchbearers and they know they're torchbearers. They just don't know what's coming behind them after they do that. Other people are torchbearers and they don't realize it. And I think maybe Jesse was like that. He was just going to the Olympics to represent his country and to do his best to try to excel. And he did, but it it became something more than the people I spoke to today say this is a unique Alabama treasure. No other museum exists that is dedicated to the life and legacy of Jesse Owens in Lawrence County. Deidre Briscoe News 19. Now, the tree planted today was the first of the arborist's donations. He has 23 more, and he plans to get with the family to find out where they would like to see them go.